on Lake High School, and welcome to episode 20 of Anchor News Now. I'm Nate Buck. And I'm Owen Budzar, and I'm going to start you guys off with baseball. The Shore and baseball team are having an entertaining season. With a 7-8 and record so far this year, the boys are shooting for a winning season. With four players planning to play at the next level, the games can get really interesting. We went and saw the boys beat Bay Village 6-4. to With a lot of entertaining plays made, and talent from both the mound and the batter's box. They did not disappoint. The Shoremen are led by Avon Lake Hall of Fame athlete, Coach Andrew Meats. Junior and Michigan commit Hayden Blosser told us that he doesn't feel the record shows how they are playing. He told us, sure, there are definitely mistakes we've made that led to losses, but at the end of the day, it's a long season and we have a team full of guys willing to learn and work to get better. We look forward to seeing how the season pans out. With just a few more meets left until the SWC Championship, our track and field team has had a dominating season so far. With breaking records from the girls' shot put relay to senior night last Wednesday, the team is flying through the season. We would like to compliment Ava Luzchak, Kennedy Koski, and Claire Springer, who won the shot put in an impressive field and set the school record for the discus relay with a combined distance of 305 feet and four inches. And another congratulations for some track and field seniors, Liam Noss and Braden Quigley, who have committed to John Carroll and the University of Akron for their track and field careers. Good luck to both of you for the next level of your journey, and be sure to support our Shoremen and Shoregals at the following meet next Wednesday. Good luck to the rest of the track and field team this season. A brand new card store opened up here in Avon Lake. Now we're going to send you over to our very own Nate Chef Buckwheat for all you need to know. Thanks guys. I'm currently standing in front of Top Table Gaming here in Avon Lake, Ohio, where they just recently opened up for business a couple months ago. Top Table Gaming is a trading card store that will bring lots of entertainment for those interested in Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, and much more. With over hundreds of different playing cards to choose from, you're able to either purchase packs or individual cards. Each week, they hold tournaments for all the different card games for a chance to win prizes. Most tournaments are free to enter, but the more exclusive ones might cost you a couple dollars to enter. But you have a chance to win an even larger prize. And what's your favorite part about running a store, a card store like this? I really like hosting events. I've always been big in like competition and it's really fun to host different events for different card games I enjoy and see people really get into it and try to get better and see their progress and kind of just see the community grow. We've been around for a couple months but we've already got some solid communities growing up for each game. Be sure to check out their Facebook often to see updates of when the tournaments will happen. For Anchor News Now, I'm Nate Buck. We are back from Top Table Gaming with two Pokemon packs to open up here on set. Now, me personally, I haven't played Pokemon in probably six or seven years, but I'm excited. What about you, Me Owen? too. Me too. I, I, I haven't done this in a long time, and it's, it's going to be nice to see what we pull. Maybe I'll get a Mega Charizard EX. A Cacturn. This one's like hollow. I think that's the one you're supposed to open up last. That's the ultra rare. Look at this. I got a pair. <laughs> it's, it's just a pair. And we got this butterfly powder puff girl looking Vivillion. So we got two, we got two hollow cards. I think, I think that's a dub. That is a win. That is a great Pokemon pack opening right there. But that's all we have for our card opening. Now let's get back to the real show. Spring break started off with a bang due to the first ever Volley Bros game. This competition was a spin-off of the Powder Puff football game, but for boys. The contest was between seniors and juniors who each wore specific colors for their team, and some even chose creative nicknames to put on the back of their jerseys. Each team was coached by experienced volleyball players from their respected grade. The seniors dominated the juniors, winning all three games. The final match was decided by senior lacrosse and hockey player 
Kevin Graney, who struck the ball so nicely that it caused the other team to just catch the ball. The seniors will cherish this victory for years to come, and hopefully the juniors can find a way to win next year. Now, enjoy our fourth edition of Mike'd Up. You're mic'd up right now? Right now. Hey, what's up? What side are we on? Are we on this side? Hey, what's the rotation? This way? What do we do? The Haley's are nothing! I don't know. Senora, what did you do? Yep, 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 yep. JT, you're my least favorite Haley. Line! 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 Hey, double zero, I'm mic'd up right now. Just I'll have you know that. Yeah, two, 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 someone! Guys, we gotta talk. All right, we gotta talk there. Oh, they put double zero back in the game. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, you, you. You, you. You. Yeah, yeah, two. Yeah. Listen, I don't know volleyball, but that was so sick. I mean, we're, we really need some more comp. This is just unbelievable. Hey, double zero, we're targeting you. I'm mic'd. I'm mic'd. Mic'd up. Uh, uh, uh. Point. Point. Teamwork. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, eyes. Wraps. Substitution. 16 7. Game three to 25. It's wraps. That was a bad call by a foot. That was a bad call by two feet. I'm gonna have a word with her after this. Volleyball on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Volleyball! Thanks for tuning in to our 20th episode of Anchor News Now. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And be sure to tune in to our next couple episodes as we start to wrap up this school year. And we'll see you next time. I thought that was pretty good. Good job, man. That was, that was, that was all right.